This is Adam Baird for Art of Blog, and today I want to take you through a quick thesis installation. Going to show you how to properly get everything installed, get all the file permissions set, uh, get everything uploaded in the correct folders, and activate the theme on your blog. And I'm also going to take you through and show you some of the optimization features that Thesis has and how you can use those to improve your blog. As you can see, I've got just a basic WordPress installation here. Uh, I just installed this. It's on a, a brand new, fresh domain. So, so this should be a pretty accurate simulation of what you'll need to go through if you're installing Thesis on a new domain. And there's a couple things that we'll need in order to, uh, to do the deed. We're going to need a quality FTP client. I would recommend FileZilla, and that's what you're looking at right here. There is a download link for FileZilla in the article. So again, I'd highly recommend this. It's super easy to use. It's free. It's got a drag and drop interface. Um, very, very newbie friendly and uh, should be pretty straightforward for you. You're also going to need to download the latest version of Thesis from DIY Themes. And as you can see, I've got that right here on my desktop, ready to go. And the first thing that we want to do is go ahead and extract all of the files in our Thesis folder. So we go ahead and click Extract All, and this is just a basic Windows extraction. Uh, you may have a, a program on your computer that will do it more efficiently. If so, that's fine. So as you can see, there we go. We're ready to go. We've got Thesis 1.6 here. Uh, whatever version you happen to be installing, the process should be the same. Now I've gone ahead and I've already logged in to FileZilla, and the basic process for that, the information you'll need, you'll need your FTP address, so basically that's usually just FTP.YourSite.com, pretty straightforward. And then if you look in your uh, hosting account with whatever host you happen to use, they should have a username and a password for your FTP account. Uh, if not, just email your hosting provider and I'm sure that they will uh, be able to help you either uh, obtain that information or set it up if you need to. So. Uh, once you've got those three things in there, you just hit Quick Connect, and it will go ahead and connect you to your server. Now, as you can see, I'm on the uh, the domain that we have set up here, and this is just the root of the domain. This is the first thing you see when you sign in there, and so I'm going to go ahead and click on WP Content, and then I'm going to go into the Themes folder. Now, as you can see, the the default WordPress theme is there, as well as the classic WordPress theme, and all we're going to do is just click and drag and drop that right in there and we're ready to go. Now if we go back into our thesis installation and we go into the dashboard we go ahead and click or open the appearance tab and we click themes and as you can see thesis is now one of our available themes we go ahead and click activate And that's it. It's that simple. If we go back to right here, as you can see, we are all set up with Thesis. Now, we're not quite done with the installation yet. There's a couple more things we, ne we need to do. In order to be able to use our custom folder with Thesis, which is absolutely crucial, and we'll get to that a little bit later in the Quick Start Guide, we need to rename a file. And if we just go into our Thesis directory here, go ahead and drag that out so you can see the file name. There's a custom sample folder. If you right click, usually, uh, even if you're not using FileZilla, there should be an option to right click and have the, uh, the rename option appear there. We're just going to rename this custom. And then the next thing we need to do is set some file permissions. Inside our custom folder, we find layout.css. We go ahead and right click, click File Permissions. And in the numeric value here, we're just going to set 666, which basically just gives uh, everyone whether you're part of the general public, so just anyone who wants to log on and look at this file, uh, you'll be able to read and write to it. Uh, group permissions, read and write, and then the owner of the file will be able to read and write. So we click OK. And then the only other file permission we really need to set, we go to the cache folder, and there's a detailed explanation of file permissions, uh, as well as a link to, to a, uh, a complete tutorial of file permissions in the article. So if you're a little confused right now, uh, do not fear. It is not that complicated. Uh, for the cache folder, we're going to set the file permission to 775. Go ahead and click OK. And that's it. We're done with the FTP portion of our program. And our installation is completely finished. 
Now, we're not done yet. Of course, we're done with the installation, but we still need to set our thesis options in order to optimize our blog for the search engines as well as just general overall functionality. So, the first thing that we need to look at with that is the title tag. Now, this is one of the most important things uh, in terms of search engine optimization because it's one of the first things that the search engine sees. If you go to thesis installation, here we go, uh, the title tag is just thesis installation and just another WordPress blog. That's because we're on the home page. If we go ahead and click, uh, we go into our article here, our Hello World article, see the title tag is Hello World. So that's what the title tag is. And again, it's what the search engine, it's one of the first things that the, uh, the search engine sees. So uh, the ideal title tags are laid out in the blog post. I won't go through all of that in the video. But suffice it to say, uh, we want to show the site tagline, or I'm sorry, we don't want to show the site tagline in the title. Uh, we do want to show the site name in the title uh, for the home page. And then for all other pages, we do want to append site name to page titles. Now, one other thing we want to look at really quickly here is the home page meta. A uh, couple things here, you have a home page description and then you have keywords. Uh, the keywords are basically just ways that uh, your website is categorized. Uh, search engines don't really use them for the most part, like Google doesn't even recognize them anymore. Um, or, I mean, it, it may, but it doesn't really factor them into to search engine optimization or, or search engine rankings at all. Um, meta description for your home page. You do want to type this in because, as I said in the article, it is what shows up in the description when you show up in the search rankings. So if someone uh, finds your home page in the search rankings, then this is what would show up as the description. So we will say uh, thesis installation instructions for lack of a better description. Obviously, you would just put whatever would apply to your website there. Generally, you just want this to be concise. You want it to be catchy. You want it to be something people will click on. So those are the main things to worry about as far as your thesis options are concerned. And now what we want to do is go ahead and look at individual post options. So we're going to go into posts, click edit, find a post. Since we only have one on this particular installation, we'll click edit on that post. So we're on the post edit page here for Hello World. And basically, Thesis gives you the option, which you should definitely take advantage of, of adding custom title tags as well as uh, meta descriptions and meta keywords for each individual post. And uh, for that matter, for each individual page that you have on your blog as well. And these are very helpful tools because, again, you're able to set your description for your page in the search engine right here. So you can set it to whatever you would like, and that'll really help your click through rate. The custom title tag for each post is really nice because a lot of the time you want to write catchy blog titles, but search engines aren't necessarily in love with catchy blog titles. They don't love descriptors. Uh, they love things that are straightforward and just tell them exactly what's going on. So you can write a catchy title here and that's what your readers will see. And then you can use a custom title tag here and that's what the search engines will see. So obviously that's a really convenient tool to have and, and again I highly, highly recommend using this for every page and post on your blog because the custom title tag will affect your search engine rankings hopefully positively if you if you put good custom title tag or good custom titles in there and the description will affect your click through rate in the search engines because of course uh, that is what people will see and you'll be able to customize that and get it exactly the way that you like it on each and every page on your blog so that's it for installing and optimizing the thesis theme on your blog I hope that this gets you started and stay tuned for part two of the Thesis Quick Start Guide here on Art of Blog.